Booth and welcome back to the Blue Rose Kennels YouTube channel sponsored by Canine Chronicle TV. Today I'm going to have my husband Phil tell you a little bit about how we set up at dog shows. We are in beautiful Brooksville, Florida right now and there's some key things that we do that we'd like to share with you. It's how we set up our mats under our X-Pens and how we use our tents and how Phil secures them to the floor so we are safe no matter what the weather. So stay right there and we'll be right back. Hi everyone, thanks for joining us on our Blue Rose Kennels YouTube channel, sponsored by Canine Chronicle TV. Amy's asked me to show you a few things about our setup here at Outdoor Dog Shows. Like she said earlier, we're in Brooksville, Florida, and uh, here for the circuit. And now I'm going to show you real quickly some basic stuff about how we set up our tents, our mats, our X-Pens, and some other little tricks that we use. Um, first of all, Depending on what breeds of dogs you have, you may do the same, you may not. There's breeds that don't require mats, breeds that require different kinds of pens, drop pens, rack pens. Um, so not one pen, one exercise setup, or truck setup does not fit all breeds and all handlers. But this is what we do. Um, first of all, when we get to the show, um, you can see here we have uh, a mat on the ground. I like to stretch that up very tightly. Um, so the dogs can't dig at it. Typically, there's two reasons we like to use these mats. We use them, one, to keep things cleaner, um, and the dogs cleaner in inclement weather. If it rains, you don't make so much mud, the grass doesn't get wet, etc. Uh, two, if you have uh, happy, playful dogs, it's a little bit diff more difficult for them to, um, to dig and to, to make a mess. Um, but when you put your mat down, uh, what I like to do is uh, use a, a stake and a like a tent stake type thing you can see right here. It has a large washer type uh, on it that goes through the eyelets of the mats. If you stretch your mats real nice and tight and uh, do all four corners and a couple down the middle, um, it's easier for pickup and cleaning. We use a, a bucket with a, a brush to do some of the cleanup with obviously some disinfectants and things like that in it, uh, as well as when you use your scoops and things like that, it's much easier to pick up a tight mat than it is something that has creases or um, uh, slack in it. Uh, when, when we set up, that's the first thing that goes down is the mat. Second thing that we put up is our tents. Uh, many people use different kind of tents. We're fortunate enough to, like others, to be supplied with some of these lovely tents by Purina. Um, they're 10 by 10, easy up style tents. I particularly like these because a 10 by 10 tent is much more um, versatile. Uh, you can move it around a lot easier. The, the, you get into the big 10 by 20s or, or bigger, they're heavy, they're a little more cumbersome, uh, more than a one person job. Uh, these require a couple people, but they're still much more manageable uh, in this size. We usually use about three of them for over our X pens. Uh, we'll put those up. Uh, very similar to the mat, we will stake those down at all four corners using some type of tent stake or uh, any kind of device that you're comfortable with, putting them in the ground. Here this week we have a, a, uh, a U-shaped tent stake. I think that is actually the type of stake that comes with the, pen, the uh, tent itself. When we put our tents up, what I like to do also, um, because obviously at outdoor shows it can get windy and stormy, and etc. Once we get them up, I like them close together, and I'll use a zip tie to put them all together and zip tie them nice and tight so that if it does become inclement weather, um, they're much more secure as a one single unit as opposed to three or four separate units. Along with the uh, different size pens that we use, we always use clips. These, some of these X-Pens have doors on them. Uh, if we have a pen with a door, we like to, to uh, set the pen up so the door opens to inward. Uh, we do that because if a dog bangs on a door or tries to get open a door, they're pushing it closed as far other than rather, rather than pushing it open. Along with that though, we will always secure our doors with a clip on the pen so that if they do get it unlatched or open, it, it can't open it all the way.
Okay, if you're, if you're setting up one of those 10 by 10 tents that we spoke of, or any size for that matter, in a single use situation like we have here for our grooming tables and our setup, I like to use a bungee with a tent stake in the ground also to hold it after they're staked the same as the others into the ground. For a little extra security, I use a, a bungee and a tent stake and, or a strap to, uh, to secure them down for inclement weather. Uh, so that's pretty much it about our, our pens, our mat, or mats, plural, and the tents. The one thing I did say, we have a mat here that's uh, 8 by 40, I think. That's a pretty good size mat. Um, it gets pretty heavy when you roll it up. I sometimes would recommend two 10 by 20s maybe, but when you have a seam like that, you can get into a situation where dogs dig at it or try and tear it apart. So we, we prefer the, the one single mat. The other thing that we're going to show you here later when it gets dusk is I use some auxiliary lighting underneath these tents so uh, it's easy to set up and easy to see in the, at night. But we'll get back to that later when uh, the sun goes down. Hi hey guys, back with you here this evening. As I said before, when it became dusk, we could show you about a little bit of lighting. As you can see, we use LED lights on our truck. Um, yeah, I, I honestly think you can't have them too bright because uh, when you clean up and everything else at night, it sure makes it a lot easier. And as you can see, like I spoke before, we've got some LED portable stuff in the tents, put up with little clips, and uh, makes it a lot easier to see the X-Pens, to be able to scoop and take care of the dogs properly. One thing that we didn't mention earlier, or I didn't mention earlier, is how to keep things clean and disinfected and smelling good. We used either Odaban, Pine Sol, any of those other scented disinfectants seem to work just well. Using bleach sometimes causes a little bit of a trouble with your mat, can discolor your mat, and or after a while bleach can make some of these fabrics that are used to make the mats a little brittle. So we prefer the Pine Sol or the Odaban or something like that. So as Amy would say, hope this has been helpful and she'll be talking to you here in a minute shortly. Thanks. We hope that information was useful for you. We will develop other little snippets of information like that to share with you things that we've learned through the years, little hacks that'll help you at dog shows too. So stay tuned. If you like what we're doing here, please subscribe to our channel, ring the bell so you're notified every time we upload new content and give us a like if you're enjoying this content. And again, thank you to Canine Chronicle for making this all possible. See you soon.